The VHS Files podcast contains spoilers, adult content, and harsh language. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to the mini-sode. And we're back! Jason, we we're back. back! Are we back? Eric, Where did we're we back. go? Are we on? Are we on? Jenny, we're back! We're back! I'm back! Jenny's back! You guys Jenny. have been doing this without me. We've missed you, Jenny. I've missed you. Have you? I have. Tell the truth, Eric. Let it out. I am telling the truth, Jason. Okay. <laughs> I've missed Jenny. I'm glad you're back. I missed you. Yeah. Glad to be back. And tonight, uh, we're doing another top four. Top four. Five is too many. Quattro. Five is too many. Uh, three is not enough. <laughs> we liked doing this last time. It was a lot of fun. We got Jenny in on this one. So this time we picked a very random topic, I guess you would say. But we thought it would be kind of cool to start talking about colors. And colors. tonight we're going to be talking red movies. You can take that for whatever you want, and that's where this. Uh, that's where I hope this conversation is going to get kind of interesting. When you think red, what kind of movies do you think of? So we can go any any which way with that. Yeah, we're leaving it open to interpretation, and you know, I this is not necessarily a top four list per se. Uh, I mean, it is a top four list, but you know, it's it's four great examples of films that use the color red in whatever way you want to interpret that. And um, probably a good start would be to talk about the color red. According to Color Psychology, that's a website. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> getting this because it was pre-written. Point is, this is color theory stuff that you get into whenever you take an art class or anything like that. But red is associated with energy, war, danger, strength, power, determination, as well as passion, desire, and love. Violence. Uh, and you know, obviously, it's it's the most attention attracting color there is. So if you're looking at a design or a film or a, a work of art or whatever, red is often used as a attention grabber, and uh, that's definitely used a lot in film. And we'll we'll talk about it. Yeah, and it was a very interesting when we decided to do this. It was. We were kind of throwing around ideas of what kind of top fours we wanted to do, and we mentioned colors, and um, I would say it was a little bit of a back and forth between me and Eric and Jason and Jenny about what does this mean? What are we going to do? And everybody's interpretation of it. Um, Jenny, I know you kind of struggled with it a little bit there at first. So you want to talk about like why it was a struggle for you? or I guess for me, I don't automatically associate specific movies with certain colors like when I think about movies I associate them more with like how they made me feel or a certain memory like color sure. just doesn't like or music like I would probably relate to the music in movies more than like a certain color feeling it'll okay. be interesting we should do a music themed Yes. Top four at some point. Yeah. Yeah. And see, I originally felt like Jenny did when uh, Josh and Eric did this idea out of the four of us was like, what movies make you think of red? And I was like, I don't get it at first because I mean, I'm thinking you talk about movies with the name red in them or red because I'm like Jenny. It's more of a, when I watch a movie or something, it's the music or the emotion, be it laughter, sadness, you know, an anxiety type movie, especially with horror movies, stuff like that. I, associate emotion and sound with movies more than I do colors. But after talking to Eric and Josh about it, I was like, okay, I get what you're going with this. So after, because I mean, I took like Eric, he's in the art world, does design work. I, I was in art and red and colors mean something. And I didn't think about that relating to a movie, but movies are a form of art. So it makes total sense. Be it red, blue, green, purple, whatever. They all mean something different. So I'm ready to dive into this. Also, um, the color red is known to make you hungry. A lot of mm. restaurants paint the insides of mm -hmm. their places mm -hmm. red. And it's also good luck in some Eastern cultures. Uh, red is traditionally the wedding color instead of white. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. White's the funeral color um, of some eastern traditions that's so. interesting yeah I, red is yeah talking about the food thing i worked on a lot of restaurant brandings lately and you know uh you're totally right like 
red warm colors i mean think of, if you think about it there's a lot of red foods out there yes mm-hmm. you know there's not a lot of blue foods not a ton but we're getting off track blueberries <laughs> Let's, i love I, I love blueberries man top <laughs> four blue foods go i no. had them today <laughs> But we actually plan on doing this with, with quite a few colors. We've started making lists, or at least I've started making some lists of different colors and um, the movies that relate to those for me. I'd so. love to do the whole rainbow at some point. Yeah. Over the or course G-Biv. of <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But it's going to be interesting because, I mean, this can go all kinds of different ways. I mean, you can, it, if it's, you know, throw something out there like the movie, you know, Argento's Deep Red. Or is that Argento? It's it's a, it is, it's a yeah. Giallo movie, but um, like Deep Red. So, I mean, there you go. That qualifies. You know, you could go that route. The Hunt for Red October. Something like that. You can go that route or just how the movie makes you feel. All of those different kinds of things. So, I'm anxious to dive in and kind of see what everybody's perception of this is. All right. So, who wants to kick it off? Are we just going to jump around and go each of us do one movie and then go to our number two yeah just like last time yeah we'll kind of do it like we did last time and just uh each of us will give one movie and then we'll go from there jenny why don't you kick us off yeah jenny you do it you rock it okay i'm trying to think of the way to do this is it like most red invoking to like just a little bit or no order you want to how do do i no order no order so first one on my list is carrie it's carrie and everyone makes fun of them. Free, Carrie, free, Carrie. <laughs> the girl who lives in that creepy house <laughs> with her crazy mother. <laughs> Help the silly woman see the sin of her days and ways. Show her that if she had remained sinless, the curse of blood would never have come on her. The girl with the strange power. If I concentrate hard enough, I can move oh. things. Uh, hey, that made nice. my list. That's on mine, or as a secondary. Lots of red imagery in this movie, specifically the pig blood scene. Um, mm-hmm. But also earlier in the movie when she gets her period in the shower. Yep. Here in the movie, it, I think it's just anger and rage, and that's the most, like, powerful emotion that you get from it. it but earlier in the movie it's shame uh, and confusion right mm-hmm. i think that also fuels the anger and rage later sure yes yeah. the way she's treated and mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's a good one that's a good one for sure i, I mean i hadn't even thought of that one to be honest so yeah that's i mean good. red definitely brings makes you think about blood and you're like okay well what movies really use blood and that and that's a great example mm-hmm. getting we're on the same page i had that one that's a good one all right all right jason give us one of yours oh uh, i'm gonna stick with the carpenter thing because it seems like that's what we always do because we love carpenter here i'm going with uh christine sonny you ever owned a car before no i just got my license start her up Her name's Christine. I like that. Christine. Christine. That's a good one. Like I said, just, I mean, the red Plymouth Fury that we all love, and it just stands out, like I said, before the three of us have had pictures with Christine of us getting run over and chased by Christine at Megacon. It was so great. But That's uh, amazing. I mean, when you think, when, like I said, when you guys said color red, I mean, I thought of movies that were red imagery and red things or emotions stuck out to me. And I think Christine, that beautiful red car, the the demon or devil that's possessing the car that takes over Arnie. And then, of course, you, there's something possessing because the car can fix itself. <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. and then you start thinking about Arnie's obsession. Right. As you know, red being something like his passion for the car, because I mean, he's dumping all of his money to fix Christine and take care of her. And eventually his obsession and love for the car kills him, which ended up with a bloody Arnie thrown out the windshield and he dies. So spoiler alert for anybody listening. But, uh, when I, th- when I thought to put the spoiler before, so, no, Josh had spoilers at the beginning spoilers of the episode, at the beginning. So, but, uh, that's what it, y'all you thought red. That was one of the movies that, immediately jumped out at me was uh christine 
with the. That's a good one, Jay. Yeah. So. Yeah. And he yeah. starts wearing red at some point in the movie yep. too. Yeah. Like he it's, becomes one. He becomes one with the cause. Yeah, it's crazy. Like in some of these things, like Christine is one of my like upper echelon carpenter movies, and I didn't even that didn't even cross my mind making this list. So it, it's it's kind of cool to see where everybody's heads at on this. Well, what has crossed your mind? Because you said that twice now. <laughs> yeah, should we go to Josh now? Maybe. Well, yeah, I, Josh, you know, hit us with your first should we, one, bud. Or should, should we let our fellow redhead go? last or let him go next he went first last time we did a top four so he can go last this time How about oh that? put him in this place after that game of All disc golf down. he played today he should be ashamed of himself anyway oh it was <laughs> ugly it was ugly <laughs> but i, I had a, a little bit of a time kind of going back and forth because a lot of these things like some of these movies that i'm gonna say just i sort of associate with the fact that their box art was red and that's just kind of how it stuck with me throughout the years um and this is one of those and um it's Lost Boys. We've already done it. You know, mm-hmm. that's one of our episodes in the past. You can go back and listen to our take on that. But Lost Boys just screams red to me. Uh, Absolutely. That was on my short list as well, Josh. It's yeah, on mine and, too. <laughs> and, you know, they play a lot with the red lighting in that movie, which kind of puts you in that sort of, you know, mindset when you're watching it. And, you know, obviously the blood, all that from, from, from vampires. But um, that's kind of where I wanted to take one of my picks was just sort of how, like, the traditional box art of the movie and then, and and then, you know, how they visualize things within that movie just kind of associates with the color for me. So lost boys is definitely well, one. Yeah. And, and you can't discount like, I mean, the box art and the marketing is, is all part of it. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. especially for movies that are older and have been around like, uh, but, but also that movie does have a ton of red yeah. throughout it, you know, not even in, Talking about the box. The, uh, yeah, what a, always sticks with one. me with Red is the the final, the, the the third act when Michael and David are flying around in the house and all of that's tinted red and, and all yep. of that. So that's one of the reasons it kind of sticks with me like that. I tried to make you immortal. You tried to make me a killer! <laughs> <laughs> you are a killer. Yeah, when he gets impaled on the horns. Yeah. That whole red. Spoil! <laughs> Jason dropping the spoilers hey, all night tonight. Hey, it don't matter. We he already was dead did the whole time. Hey, we already <laughs> did Lost Boys. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we already covered that one. But the other thing about that cover art, too, just to kind of close this out, is it's 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 also striking because it's this red box, but it's this black and white image over it. I think that kind of, mm-hmm. the contrast of that is really kind of what makes it a little striking as well. So, Eric, give us one of yours. Okay, I'm going to go with, what am I going with? Okay, I'm going to go with, you ready? Do it. Mandy. 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 You want to talk about red lights? (laughs) You want to talk about red lights? Fucking wild. You want to talk about an acid trip of a movie? Under the crimson, primordial sky. Wretched warlock reached into the dark embrace. His fist closed around the serpent's eye. Strange and eternal. I need you to get me that girl I saw. Do you know what to do? You're a special one, Mandy. I do. Uh, <laughs> yes. So much red in that movie. It's just virtually the whole movie is blanketed in red light. And, uh, you know, obviously there's passion and violence. And I mean, the movie's chock full of all the things that red inspires. And uh, Mandy, that's it. That's a good one. It's a good one. That is definitely a trippy ass damn movie. I just picked up the director's first film. I believe it's his first film, The Beyond the Black Rainbow. Hmm. Not seen it. I haven't I haven't given it a watch yet, but I'm interested to see it. And then the cover of it is red, which which is funny. We're talking about, you know, red red covers and how you associate that kind of stuff. So but I'm anxious to watch that. So Jenny, you want to give us another one of yours? Pleasantville. 
Ooh. Aww. Okay, okay. You, so, you're going to have to do some explaining on this end. Well, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Pleasantville, <laughs> uh, it takes place primarily in a black and white world, um, which is a, a TV world, where everything is kind of vanilla and plain, and it's, it's perfectly fine, but... It's perfectly not, pleasant, you might say. Yeah. Yeah, you might. <laughs> but it's not terribly exciting. Um, and these two teenagers from the present get sucked into this 50s Leave it to Beaver kind of town. And they, through interacting with the people in Pleasantville, start to change those people. And one of the first things that changes is there's a red apple on a tree Mm. Mm. Ah, and then more things start to happen. And when they happen, they happen red first. Like it's the passion and the desire and all these things that start to bring out the color in the world and in these people. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that choice. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I've watched, some of that with you at least, and I don't. I don't know if we've actually sat down and watched that movie together. Pleasantville is a great movie. Toby Maguire, right? Yep. Yes. And Reese Witherspoon. Yep. It's actually a good movie. Uh, I know some people are watching WandaVision. That first episode reminds me of Pleasantville. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It does. I'm like, okay. this is like Pleasantville. You're not allowed to bring up WandaVision because we're going to go down a whole different path and stop talking about red movies. So <laughs> that's the only time we get to mention WandaVision in the show right now. Well, well could we do an episode of that? She's red. <laughs> so hello. She's red. Hello. Does it's it true. not work? Maybe after the finale. Maybe. There we go. There we go. All right. So Jason, please. go for it. Oh, I really, I have this movie I want to say, but I have a feeling it's on Josh's list and I don't want to ruin it for him because I took one from him on our top four when we did horror. But so I'm going to skip it for now. But no, 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 no. I want to hear this. I want to hear this now. You go, you go. Do you want me to? Because you know yeah, what movie I want you I'm to do going it. to say. No, I, actually, I don't, but <laughs> The Shining. Ah. Damn. Yep. Tell did us you not have it on your list? I do not have that on my list. Holy crap. That's just, I, I had this as an alternative top two because I had a feeling it was going to be on Josh's list. If anybody listening, Josh loves this movie. Yeah, yeah. I do. Like, like, it's up there with Jaws with Josh. For and I, and I, I, I will go ahead and say, I mean, it's not on my list here, but I, I won't say that it might not make a list of another color we do in the future. Because maybe I associate it with a different color. But the the red with me is, if you notice throughout the movie, and I know Josh does too, there is so much red in this movie. Yep. Red walls, red doors, the red and orange carpet, uh, the red, red rum. rum. Jack's red jacket. Yep. yep. It, his family, and he puts the big red jacket on right as he's getting ready to go kill his family and everything. Yeah. But it's just the, the red bathroom. The big, yeah, the red bathroom. That was one of the walls. That's what I was getting. And then the big red blood wave that comes yes. out of the elevators and down. Yep. That's like when Josh said red, this was a movie that immediately popped him in. I said, This Josh is gonna put this. This is gonna be his number one on this list. Well, that was and on my he, short list as well, Jason. That that's a great, that's a great example. But, I mean, it was just, there's so much red. I mean, like you said, the, I guess the, some of his anger to his life and things like this and rage and the yeah. rage and all the stuff. And, you know, like if it's that, and I mean, Kubrick's known for his colors. I mean, like 2001 Space Odyssey, all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to me, when you said red, this was one of my first two that popped in my head. And I was like, that's crazy, man, because I it, cannot it, believe it's not on Josh's list. It's, I'm not, shocked. it's not even on my short list to be honest you fool. with you. Like, do I even know you? Who are you? 
Who is like, Josh? Is this is not Josh? Who is this? Like I said, man, I, I it, it it doesn't associate with red for me for whatever reason. And then you guys, you guys, you have just given all the reasons in the world why it should, but for whatever reason, it <laughs> it doesn't for me. That's we, crazy. We've given you a reason to watch it again, bud. Oh, can watch trust it. me. Watch he doesn't it need a reason. Red. He'll watch I, it. I bought the four K. I bought the four K last year and haven't even had a chance to watch it yet. So I'm jonesing to get that one in the player. Well, you'll be moving soon, and you can do that. That's Sit right. Back in your He's new Jones little place, folks. But yeah, that was my that was my number. Uh, that was going to be my top two, but I threw it out there now because I had I didn't know if it was going to be on your list. So. Okay, well, cool. But great I, choice, so. great choice. There you go. All right, um, good. Choice. Thanks, guys. I'll go ahead and go to um, the next few that I have are probably going to kind of all be very similar in in why I picked them, but I'll go ahead and throw this one out there. I saw the devil. Ah. Oh. Um, this movie, there is an, uh, you know, part of it is the cover art for it because I, there's like a tinge of red to it. I can't really remember exactly what it is. I believe it's in one of the eyes of the guys on the, on the cover, mm-hmm. but um, just the, it, this is a, a, an Asian film and it's a revenge thing, but everything that happens in this movie is so calculated and, and so precise, but like, it's all this rage of a guy chasing a serial killer who killed his fiance. And it's one of the best movies I've seen in the past decade for sure. And I think you can get the Blu-ray on Amazon right now for like six or $7. Like if you are listening to this, if you have any interest in good movies, this movie is worth picking up for that price. Um, I mean, yeah, you have it's to a great some... Korean horror. Uh, yeah, lots of red throughout. You're right. The the killer wears red through a good portion of it, um, or at least. And a, I'm sure there's lots of, of symbolism of it. But I mean, you got you know just how how much rage this guy has for trying to find the person that killed his fiance and the actual things he does to this guy. Like it just. I don't really think there's a whole lot of tinges to red with the lighting or anything like that throughout the movie. It's just, I think about that movie when I think about the color red and that's there, there's a good amount of blood in that movie. And um, yeah. It, and it's worth mentioning for people who haven't seen it, that, that the main premise is that the guy, it's not just, he wants to hunt the killer down and get him. Like he, he catches him and lets him go repeatedly. Yeah so that he yeah. can do it multiple times so it's it's pretty gnarly and and uh you know it's revenge it's a I different mean, it's korean a different revenge take on revenge for yeah sure. you, like, you you can't do better revenge films <laughs> than that i mean yeah they, they got revenge in the bag i mean so. i could i you could you could throw old boy in there that's another yeah. one like yeah. the way the way they do revenge over there is is quite quite crazy <laughs> yeah so eric go ahead and give us another one of yours okay my next one is going to be Manhunter. Ooh. Not Red Dragon. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, but uh, yes, there is a Red Dragon tattoo in it. And um, there's lots of red imagery throughout. And, uh, uh, you know, what can you say? There's, you, you've got the Red Dragon killer. Is that, is that what he's called? I can't remember. Anyway, it's been a while. <laughs> Lots of red imagery. I mean, he's got he's got uh, you know that photo of like uh, like a desert or like Mars or something in his apartment. There's lots of red. There's lots of fire. There's lots of uh, all that good stuff in there, and there's just lots of great red imagery in that film. Yeah, Jenny and I just watched that for the first time. Like I think last last Halloween, maybe. Oh, really? Maybe. Yeah. Um, because I mean, we we I had only seen Red Dragon. I did not know that Manhunter was the same same story yeah so yeah. um i, I can't for a lot longer yeah, i came into the hannibal lecter series at saint uh uh silence <laughs> of the lambs so yeah so Man Hunter I, yeah. was a little a little bit before that so i i didn't really get a chance to to catch up on that i mean when i started getting into, into directors and finding out that that was michael a michael mann movie it sparked my curiosity made me want to go watch it yeah and same then, i mean it was it's a great one to to go back to for you know uh, 
people that maybe it may have missed it because it was from like 1980 or something, I think. Yeah. In that yeah. general area. So Great yeah, score. I, mean, I think uh, didn't Tangerine Dream do the score on it? Like it's a it's a cool score in Manhunt. Uh, yeah, too. I can't remember, but yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it's a great it's a great movie. Um, but yeah, lots of red, and uh, you got the double double action that it's it's red dragon. So yeah. you got red, red, some more red. red, red. All right, Jenny, you uh, throw your third one out there. Amelie. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Ooh. The cover art specifically of Amelie, she has red lips, I yeah. believe, and maybe even a red dress. Uh, but the color in this movie, and it's been a long time since I've seen it, but is so vibrant and is sort of its own character uh, throughout. It's just... And I feel like it's a, a really happy movie, like, and Red, you know, is happy for some people and not for others, but, like, it's, it is just sort of like a, a warm, pleasant well, Amelie, feeling. Amelie is one of my top, like, romantic comedy movies, and, uh, yeah, like, totally makes sense that you would, re- you know, refer well, to that. Well, yeah, with, with Amelie Red. is... It it does have a lot of red in it, and I think Amelie brings sort of she brings passion and and happiness to people mm-hmm. who don't have it, right? And she's like searching for love throughout the film. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, all those themes are there, and I just did a quick image search of Amelie, and I all I did it was just googled Amelie, <laughs> and and, I, and you, there's you're right, there's so much red in it. She was wearing red in many instances, red walls, red furniture, red umbrella, red everywhere. I mean, it really is. uh, uh, That's a great scene. I mean, there's a scene right here where like almost everything in the room is red. So that's a great, that's a great one. This is all you, you made me really want to go back and watch this. Like I can't wait, cannot wait to get back in the house and get the movies out. So like I've been wanting to rewatch that for a while Mm -hmm. and now you really made me want to really want to watch it. So. Good one. Jason, you probably haven't seen the past two movies we've talked about. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said the last two movies that you guys talked about. Uh, Manhunter, I have seen. I haven't sat down and watched it from beginning to end, but it definitely seen it on TV, but way after, you know, like Silence of the Lambs and everything else. Yeah. But the movie y'all were just talking about, I had no clue what you were talking about. I'm just in La La Land. Don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a good movie, too. We can talk about that one. So, yeah, <laughs> we're not talking about that one either. Okay, let's see. All right, all right, we're done two. We're on number three. Hmm. I don't know if y'all have noticed that I uh, everything I've talked about is horror movies. Um, I wonder why. It's almost like you like horror. That's why. That's okay. There's there's a lot of red in horror, man. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go outside of horror. I'm going to save the top one, but I have a feeling it... I'm running the risk of the th- one of the three of you talking about probably my number one on here. I don't know. I'm really surprised by everybody's choices so far. So I don't even, I, I'm starting to think that none of us are going to have any crossovers, but, but I'm, I'm, I was trying to get out of the horror genre, but I was trying to think what, like something as a kid that like was read in a movie that stuck with me and thought about it forever. And even as an adult, we still wondered the color red in these movies, but I'm going just, I'm going to pick one movie out of the whole, series empire strikes back wow okay darth darth vader's lightsaber as a kid the oh. red lightsaber hmm. that stuck out to me so much as a kid and then as we move forward you know as we get older and we have all these other movies now and they tell you about the kyber crystals and all this stuff and the sith and all these things we learn and they're color red but like you said the color red means anger power Mm. Uh, passion and love and you think about at the time uh, we find out the reason how Anakin became Vader was because of his love for Padme right. Red, right uh, he anger, lost control of his emotions yeah the, the anger he felt because she died and he couldn't save her and it's just and the power of from the dark side that he had he became obsessed with the power to save her and everything and then but 
in Empire, the the fight scene with him and Luke there, the two different color lightsabers when they have their big fight. Yep. That that red always stood out to me as a kid. Is like as as a kid growing up, you wanted the Darth Vader little figure with the red lightsaber. As you got older, you wanted the red lightsaber. You, I mean, we we're always pulled for the good guy, but I always wanted the red lightsaber. I have the red lightsaber. <laughs> so there you go. But when you said red, and I tried to go outside of my, I mean, most everything on my list is horror. This was actually an outside pick but since i wanted to do something outside of the horror genre which is my thing um that's what i went with because of those things is the color of his lightsaber and you'll notice that's what the sis used but you think about the passion the yeah. anger the love and it kind of goes with his i like him it. having the light the red lightsaber i like it i like the reach i think that's great you're reaching <laughs> and i like it i like it that's what but that's what i wanted to get out well that's what's kind of cool box. is it 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 sounds it sounds like a reach, but when you explain it in that way, I mean it really makes sense. Yep. Um, if I'm thinking Red Invader, I'm thinking that scene in Rogue One where he oh, shows yeah. up on the tr- all but, the red lighting. Yeah, yep. yeah. But yeah, I mean that's that's a very interesting way to look at that, Jason. I good 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 on I was, you. I was I was I was digging deep good on you, man. bro. I was going deep instead of I, I went below the surface. I got inside Vader's head. <laughs> So is it? Uh, is it my I turn went again? below the yeah. surface. <laughs> this man went below the surface. He's got okay. a submarine. <laughs> the hunt so, for Red October. I'm uh. Hey, yeah. careful! <laughs> no spoilers. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. No, well, I'm it's... not gonna say Hunt for Red October, even though it it did make my short list. Oh. Um, I'm not gonna say Crimson Tide either, because it did make my short list. What about Red and Red Two? <laughs> <laughs> Red that Dawn crossed, crossed my mind, but and Red Dawn crossed my mind. Uh, it, Red Sonia. There are only a couple of movies on my list that actually have the name or have the word Red in it. So that was one thing I thought was kind of cool. Um, but I'm going for my third pick. I'm going David Fincher's Seven. Mm, I like it. Um, again, it kind of goes back to like the cover art and like how they did seven and with the seven as the V and all, and, and it was red. Um, but again, like we're getting into the the psyche of John Doe in that movie. And it may not be have again, those tinges of red light throughout it or whatnot. But when I think about a movie that I would associate with that, that would be one of those movies. And it's, it's, it's one of those movies that really, that's one that I struggle going back and forth with like my favorite Fincher film. Um, I, I could probably interchange three of Fincher's movies in the top spot and at any given point in time, but seven is one that's always in that rotation. Um, so much to that movie. When I saw that movie, when I was a kid, it blew my fucking mind because the, the ending, I just did not see coming. I don't think as a kid, I really fully understood what happened when the end of that movie <laughs> happens. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was just left in awe by this movie and, it's so funny how we, you know, I've talked about this on uh, on our podcast and on Not a Bomb podcast with like uh, John Carpenter movies, like the the way we grow up watching certain directors and not really thinking about that until we're older and we're more more film fans and we start going back and seeing how relative these movies were and even though we didn't know that these directors directed all these movies that we love, it, it kind of gives you a it tells a story about you in a way you know like so but yeah seven you know as far as red movies go seven is is one of those for me and just when i think that i think seven all right that's a good one that's a good one how about like you or, or wait it's my turn josh it's eric's turn i was gonna skip jenny you're gonna have one. to hold on a minute just relax anyway love you jenny mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's all jokes. It's all jokes. Anyway, sure. Uh, you know, I'm I'm torn between. I I have a few that I I want to do, and I ah uh, okay. I'm gonna go with. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a curveball here. I'm Throw gonna it. I'm gonna go with, and this is a movie I watched for the first time recently, so it's real fresh in my mind. But mm. uh, Blue Velvet, John Lynch's John Lynch. <laughs> Okay, John rewind. Lynch. How, no, 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 You just fucked up. You just fucked up royally. That's a football player. 
My, I've been saying, are we talking about the football player <laughs> yeah, here? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know you do. You have no clue. Uh, <laughs> David Lynch's Blue Velvet. Uh, mm. There are, there is a surprising amount of red in that movie. And when it's used, it is used to great effect. Um, yeah. The movie is about uh, lust and... Um, it's about i'm not great at this but you know it's it's about uh animal animalistic in like sexual instincts and and yeah. and and anger and like the the mixture of pleasure and pain and some weird ickiness at times and and uh sounds when, like a david lynch movie <laughs> yeah and when you it's about normal yeah. when when you you know i mean the, the the opening shot in in is is these roses and it's also yeah. the closing shot too if i recall correctly but um her her red lipstick um her apartment's basically red uh there's you know sh like shocking moments of uh climax violence <laughs> violence uh sexual climax things like that that yeah. are that are ha have a big red exclamation point on them every time they happen. And uh, we had already actually came up with this idea for red and at the time of watching that. And as I'm sitting there, I'm just like, wow. And it just keeps going. And there's just these pops of red. Yeah. Um, so is the movie uh, bathed in red? Like, like Mandy? No, but uh, the, the times where it does use red, it uses it very well. And uh yeah, so Blue Velvet. Well, becoming a David Lynch fan over the past, you know, seven years or so, I mean, I've really gotten into his films. I've gotten more into the experimental filmmakers like that. And you see Red through all kinds of stuff with, with David Lynch. Well, sure, like um, the, the Twin Peaks Red Room, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and Twin Peaks is one of those things that I did not watch when I was, a, you know, when it was on TV when I was a kid. Uh, discovered it later. Love, love, love Twin Peaks. I'm one of those that is not, I, I, I am so apologetic for it, but I love every minute of it, even when it gets bad. Um, just because I love, I love the, 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 the roller coaster ride that David Lynch takes you on mm -hmm. and, and, and how you kind of have to think about everything that he puts in front of you because something about it is telling you a story. What, kind of sense that story makes is debatable, but he's always <laughs> trying to tell you something with what he's doing. So I really, really love David Lynch and uh, I'm hoping to see a new movie by him before he uh, gets older and passes away, but we'll see. I'm hoping for a new season of Twin Peaks, to be honest, but I don't think we need to go there. Again, at this but. point, I feel awkward for Jenny because I think you, the, your love for David Lynch is kind of, disturbing <laughs> just look at her like, i love david lynch oh my god there's a couple of davids that i love lynch fincher cronenberg <laughs> he's obsessed with men named david no way. jenny what's yours uh is it are, are we on we're on the yep. last one number now, huh? four man we're number four lay it what, on us jenny what is your number four or one or whatever i had these in no particular order Okay. Uh, yeah, me neither. Same. American Beauty. Ah, <laughs> very nice. The rose petals. The rose yep. petals. Uh, here, just a classic uh, example of passion, lust, desire. You know, Lester's world is very bland. That's his name, isn't it, Lester? I can't remember. It's I guess been Lester. It's been su surprisingly, it's been a while since we've watched that, and I've watched yeah. it quite a few times. Anyway, I think it's Lester. Um, <laughs> you know, he he's so not in his life. Like he's just yeah going through the motions, and he becomes awakened yeah. one day and. Red is a big part of that. Um, and of course, it, all the rose petals, it's a beautiful image. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, there's, one of there's some other that... stuff in there, too, uh, yeah. that, that's escaping me. And I'm going to post all of these movies with some images on our Twitter. And yeah. and uh, we'll we'll explore some of this stuff to go along with the episode. So that'll be fun. But Jason, what are you, what are you closing us out with? Oh, I kind of. Well, you're not really closing us out, but what are you closing uh, your list? Closing out? my list out. Um, 
I, I still love this movie. It came out when I think it was in junior high or right at high school. But uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. She is the devil's concubine. Dracula! Join me in the eternal life. Your salvation is this destruction. Yeah! I want to be what you are. I want to see what you see. I want to love what you love. Take me away from all this death. Mm, there nice. You go. That armor he wears in there. Yeah. Yes. The red yeah. armor. The red coat when he's old Dracula. When yep. Parker, Keanu, is there visiting. The red blood when he stabs the cross when he renounces Christ because they he blamed it on them for him losing his his beloved and I mean just the the red throughout the no whole mistake. movie I mean the blood and you have was it uh, when Lucy dies yeah. and she awakens she's feeding on the child and it's the, the the that white pale skin white wedding dress that they buried her in mm-hmm. with the red lips and the red blood dripping down her. The red dress she wears when she has the makeout scene with the bestial werewolf <laughs> Dracula. Uh, the red dress is Winona Ryder wears uh, Nina's character through a couple of the scenes through the movie. Red is just predominant through the whole movie, mm-hmm. but it, it goes back to the whole lust and love and passion. Yeah. And, and that's what vampires are all about, baby. Yes. I mean, y'all brought up Lost Boys earlier, and I was like, oh, God, I think uh, somebody's going to get my Dracula in here before I get to it. But, uh, uh, that's that's i mean every time i watch it that's what you see is red red everywhere yeah. from, that's a that's great the very beginning from dracula's yeah. red 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 and all the blood and it's it's one of my favorite i actually still love this movie and a lot of people just kind of like it doesn't hold up because you know keanu trying to do an english accent is horrible <laughs> <laughs> back then because every time i'm just waiting for him to go whoa whoa, <laughs> whoa nina i thought we were totally down <laughs> <laughs> You want to suck my blood? What? You want to suck my blood, dude? What? Come <laughs> <laughs> on, Ted. But that's what I'm thinking the whole other time. I mean, because this is not too long after we get Bill and Ted that this takes place. So it's just uh, it's how good would it be away. if you if if during Bram Stoker's Dracula with Keanu Reeves, Bill and Ted landed in that time and had to do something <laughs> involving Dracula? <laughs> yeah, they come in and leave. And, Ted, and, Ted, and Ted sees Keanu's character and goes, whoa, dude. Oh God. He's totally your ancestor, bro. Look at him, man. <laughs> so, Jeez but yeah, Louise. that's what I'm going with. Yeah, my uh, fourth is, uh, is Bram Stoker's Dracula. I mean, Coppola did a great job in that movie. Uh, to me, it still stands up today. But uh, that's that's my number four. A fantastic choice. Thank yes. you, sir. I got Appreciate it on. It. Got it on 4K. Another one I'm just itching to watch on 4K. And damn it, we need to get in our house already. <laughs> um, all right. Well, for me, I'm not gonna say Cobra because Cobra <laughs> makes me think of Red. Yes. I'm also not gonna say Birdman because Birdman also makes me think of Red. Birdman is a fantastic movie. What about um, Bird Person? Not Bird Person. Oh, okay. Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I am going to close out mine with only God forgives mm. Nicholas Winding Refn. Um, you could probably throw drive in there along with this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've really gotten into the, to those filmmakers. Like he obviously uh, draws a lot of inspiration from who we were just talking about. David Lynch also, um, Jason's, you know, the shiny Stanley Kubrick. You can see a lot of that in his filmmaking and it comes with the way he lights a scene and how he kind of, he wants to make you feel, feel things within the, the cinematography as opposed to, you know, him telling you how you're supposed to feel in a scene. Uh, Only God forgives is a, is a movie that is predominant with that. And I think it kind of turns a lot of people off because there's a lot of imagery in it and a lot of metaphor and it doesn't it doesn't give you everything you need on a silver platter. You kind well, of have there's to a sit lot with of that movie. Yeah, I mean, and, the, there's a lot of style, yeah. you know, and and movies like Mandy as well. Uh, you know, it's it's just bleeding with style, and sometimes you mm-hmm. get your reds in or you get your colors in a in a in a big blast of style and lighting and and right. over the top visuals, and then sometimes you get it in something more. Uh, a little more uh, subtle, like a red apple in a mm-hmm. bl- otherwise black and white 
tree. You know what I mean? And right. uh, that's what makes these color lists fun to me. Like I, mm-hmm. you guys have surprised me with so many of these. Yeah. I mean, we all kind of have, I mean, I haven't heard your last one yet, Eric, but we've all, I mean, we haven't, we haven't crossed over each other. <laughs> we've all kind of had different, you know, different interpretations of how we've come to this. It's been very fun kind of seeing how everybody is with it. And I'm anxious to see like everybody else's colors and how they, you know, what, what, what they represent for what movies and stuff. It's going to be fun to kind of go down this as a, as a thing, but Eric, you, you were all about wanting to do this. You're going to close us out with this one. You're your top. Oh boy. Movie. Okay. Now I have really two that I'd like to do here, but I'll, I'll make a decision and I'm going to go with the first movie that popped in my head. Is this the best movie for the color red? No, but it's the first movie that popped into my head and I wanted to, I wanted to stay true to that. It's run Lola run. <laughs> you did not see that coming. Wow. No, I thought you were going to say 28 days later. That's the one that I pushed <laughs> off the list. To get. Ah, okay. We can do honorable mentions when Eric's done. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're going to, I have some more I want to mention, but um, run Lola run. She's got that shock of red hair. Uh, there are, uh, there's other red throughout the film, but um, you know, the, just simply the, the visual uh, effect or the visual choice of making her hair that bright red color and throughout a very uh kinetic film where there's a lot going on she is always you never miss her you never lose her she's always the center of attention and uh you just follow that that red dome of hers wherever she goes and uh you know there's there's other red imagery there uh there's some red light, lighting moments things like that but um I don't know why, man, when, when somebody said red movie, like run Lola run just popped right into my head. And, uh, you know, I'll note that I named my dog Lola after that movie. Wow. Um, so, you know, I, I do really like that movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, run Lola run. I mean, you know, name so a better hair? name, name a better red hair in a movie. Talking about uh, red hair in a movie. No, nope, you can't do it. Sorry. Milyovich. That's orange. Fifth orange. element. That's orange. Is That's it? very it's orange. orange. You can use that yeah. for the orange episode, orange. but this is not the orange. orange episode. This is the red episode. Uh, a little tidbit, Eric. I have never seen Run Lola Run. You ha- do you own it? I do. <laughs> <laughs> he owns you know, everything. You know, this is really funny. When we were uh, we were up in Atlanta g- closing for the house, we were talking with our friends Rachel and Chris. And we started talking about the AFI top 100 movies. And I started buying those because I wanted to have all of the, the, the AFI top 100 I wanted to have in my collection. Yeah. And we started talking. They've seen more mm-hmm. of them than I have. And they are also like going down the list. And I'm like, oh, own it. Haven't seen it. Own it. Haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah. Own it. Haven't seen it. Like there were so many that I have in my collection and have not seen. It's, it's ridiculous. That's so funny. this is where we announce the the subset podcast of the VHS files, which is called Own It, Haven't Seen It, <laughs> where we go through all of our movies that we haven't seen, Actually, that we own, and watch them. <laughs> but we, we can have a segment, does Josh own it on 4K? That's what we're going to have. Well, does that's going to be a shorter 4K? list. I mean, it, it would probably just have to be, does Josh own it? Has Josh seen it? Seen it. There you go. Yeah, but, that's our new one. But uh, any honorable mentions? I got a, I got a I couple. Do. Yeah, go we for it. We can throw a few out there. Jenny, did you have any? Since you were starting first, anyway, do you have any honorable mentions? Okay, so The Martian. Yes. Oh, which is very timely. Yes. Since we have uh, just landed the rover on Mars recently. So cool. Uh, this movie is fantastic. Um, we were just talking about this this weekend, mm-hmm. also. Almost as good as the book. But I mean, you can't look at that movie and not see red because it's all Mars all the time. Yeah, I see I red mean, because I see red hair because Eric looks just like Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to get on another subject. Just because I'm a white guy. <laughs> anyway, ladies uh, and gentlemen, our guest, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Clean water, yada, yada. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hey, Eric, hey, Eric say, just say, I'm going to science the shit out of this. 
I don't say no, don't, like don't do it. I'm not going <laughs> to. <no. laughs> don't do it. I know better. I know better than that. Uh, okay. That movie's orange, but uh, carry on. Okay. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> let me throw my, I'll throw my honorable mentions it's out the here. the red planet. Ed. Yes. I'm with Jenny. I caught the red planet, Mars. It's, yeah, it's red. Well, I'm I've got, now. I've got a, I've got a Mars movie that's red. Total Recall. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that was on my short list. I pushed it because it made my top four tech horror movies <laughs> list and I didn't want to have a, a crossover, but uh, all the Mars stuff, there's lots of red in that movie. Uh, and their Mars is more redder than, uh, than the Martian more Mars red. is. Red, more redder. Yeah. More redder. redder. So, I like uh, this. I like, is that what you say when you're designing things? Do y'all want it more redder? Yeah. Do you guys want it more redder? Okay. <laughs> Well, on my short list, uh, I had Hellraiser, which we've already talked about that movie on our horror section, just from yep. you know, mm-hmm. Clyde Barker, the movie's red. I had that, Us, with the, oh, yeah, the, red, uniform, the red jumpsuits. Yep. Yep. And I also had a movie, I think I've told Josh, but I don't know if you've watched it, uh, Daniel Isn't Real. With, mm, I have uh, not seen Sch- that. The Schwarzenegger kid and, Ro- and, one of the, and the Robbins kid, they're both in the movie together. And it's a great movie. If y'all haven't watched it, check it out. It's it's really a mind thing. I started watching it and kind of fell asleep and didn't finish it. So oh, it, it unfortunately, it's a, <laughs> I got to go it, back and give it a shot. It's a slow burn. It gets pretty twisted. It's definitely in yours and Eric's wheelhouse. The way it ends, I definitely want to watch it. I just got to get myself to a point. It's so hard now. I, I you turn a movie on. If I'm sitting still for more than five minutes, I'm usually going to pass out. It's ridiculous. But, Old age, man. But so, yeah, I just had the three. Well, 28 days later, 28 weeks later, I, I kind of throw those into a red category. Again, the box art is kind of part the, of that. The rage virus, that. the red eyes. The red eyes, yeah. Rage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in, um, in 20 days later, the, the girls are wearing red dresses at the end. There's mm-hmm. lots of red imagery. The, the, the shot from inside the blood droplet. Yep. Uh, yeah. When it drops in the dude's eye, it's all red. Red, red, red. But red box art, red. Red I think monkey like eyeballs. Years later. Red Rom. Red, Red Rom. Red Rom. <laughs> um, I also go Reservoir Dogs. Again, it's kind of a box art thing, but um, kind of the striking part of that is, you know, you got the guys in the black and white suits and you got one guy who's injured and he's just spilling blood everywhere yep. in the entire movie. That kind of sticks with you. Yep. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's yes. Good. Um, the big I, red lips at the beginning of the movie. I have grown to love this movie over the years. And it's a movie that I so much fought against when I was younger because I did not understand it. And to be completely honest with you, I love it now and I still don't understand it. But ah, it's a good movie. It's a I love watching it. I love just how crazy and bizarre it is. And it's definitely one of those that I associate with red. And uh, the other one is 30 Days of Night, another vampire movie. Ooh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. The freaking scene when they're all the vampires are just killing everybody. The red yeah. on the snow. How they're just kind of pale. And, and, almost, and that movie's almost black and white aside from the blood that just they wreak havoc on this town and spill blood everywhere. And they've got it running down their down their jowls the whole movie and it's definitely one that sticks out that's a good one i didn't even think i've of that got a couple me. uh akira yes um, i've not seen akira oh gosh Josh. do you own it i do okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> i love jenny's face right there that uh, was awesome you know there's red everywhere in that movie i don't need to explain it um and then uh hellboy yes yeah. you know because he's yeah. red right am i right oh, folks very red yeah. they call um, it big red i wanted to mention red dawn because uh it's full of reds it's full of commies right yeah communism yeah. uh and then Would that mean rock rocky four is a red movie too uh, maybe um <laughs> there is a, actually think about it there is a lot of red in that movie there is yeah yeah lots of um, red in rocky four yeah a lot of red coming out of carl weathers nose when dolph lundgren Ooh. knocks his ass out all right we don't need to relive that tragedy. Man, dude, man, that's that's like insensitive, man. If he dies, he dies. 2001 has to be mentioned, um, not just for Hal, but for lots of red imagery in that movie. Josh is making a face and he's wrong. Uh, you it, you know, it's funny. 2001 came up in our other list of tech horror mm-hmm. because of you know being yep. afraid of Hal and that kind of stuff. Um, 2001 is such an insane movie that it's like you could 
you could almost put it on every list because <laughs> it's just like, there's so much in it and yeah. it, 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 it goes so many different places. And I, I feel like it'll come up again and again when we, when we talk about these, you know, these Everybody has their own kind of categories and of lists and stuff. Um, and then uh, I think I had one more. It's not a movie, but Handmaid's Tale. Yes. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is coming back next month. I'm, I'm looking so forward to excited. it. Excited. Absolutely. Well, it's okay to mention that. I did mention WandaVision. So. That's right. That's right. No, that you only got one time to mention. Mm, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mention? WandaVision? One of it. God what? damn it, you guys. Hey, what's right. that show on Disney Plus that everybody likes? Let's talk WandaVision. <laughs> Let's let, we can sit here for another hour. I'm I don't not care. ready yet. Let's not. No, after Friday, man, we might have a uh, uh, VHS Files One Division wrap up. Man, <laughs> just I mean that shows so much fucking better than I ever thought it was going to be. And and I love that they've kind of like took you through it. And, and oh, I wish God, they took dude. a little longer to get to opening things up, but uh, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's been a that last episode was something else. Yeah. We're, I'm gonna that's another show. Anyway. That's another show. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it for our top four red movies. That was really, really fun, and I'm really surprised at all of our answers. I'm so surprised we didn't have any crossovers. That was crazy. Yeah, that was that was good. I mm-hmm. uh, I'm I'm excited to look up a bunch of red photos from all these movies and share them with everybody. Yeah, we're gonna post all this stuff up out on our uh, social media. We're gonna throw all kinds of discussions out there about red movies. I kind of want to decide, like, what color do you guys want to do next? Let's go ahead and like pick out a color. I've I've got green, blue. I've got lists Should started go for all kinds of stuff. Roy G. Biv. Roy- <laughs> like it would make me really happy. The only problem is we're gonna go from red to orange, which is not. Can we? Orange. We gotta jump around. Orange. We we need yeah. to go. We need to go, go complementary colors. Go green. Go yeah, green is the complementary color. You go to you yes. go from red to green. But green. I don't have any green movies. Oh, I, I could take. I could take I'll give you one. Fern Gully. Fern Gully. There, you got oh it. Oh my god. Green or Avatar, same movie. Yeah, same movie. Avatar it's a would worse be more movie than blue, Fern Gully. I feel Fern. like, but whatever. We can't talk about movies. Colors. That's what we're here to do, Eric. Is talk about movies. We're gonna ruin our our thing. Our next color. We can't say. Um, can well, we just talk? Uh, that's what you have to look forward to is we're going to talk green movies next. That's what we'll plan on. Green. All right. Green, green it is. So that was a lot of fun. We're going to come back next time with our top four green movies for you. We're going to do all kinds of different top fours to kind of spice it up and throw some different things out there and talk about some different movies for you guys. So that's going to do it for this little mini sode, and we will see you next time. Be kind. Rewind. Bye. Bye. Get the fire out. You've been listening to the VHS Files Minisode. We drop new episodes every Friday, so make sure you're subscribed and leave us a rating and a review wherever you get your podcast. Interact with us on all social media platforms at VHS Files Podcast. Email us any questions, comments, movie suggestions, or games you'd like to hear on a minisode at VHS Files Podcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. We'll be back. Oh, I'm God. bad. I'm the only one who wore red for the red I think episode. the blooper reel for this one's going to be longer than the episode. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? No. <sighs> Some Uh-oh. bitch. Yeah, if they charge you for it, I want my damn yogurt. You're stupid. Your face is stupid. <laughs> I got it before he did. <laughs> I knew that's what was coming next. Red adjacent with Josh and Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Okay, that just happened. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to edit that out. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. <laughs>